and welcome to Callum's Corner. Right, I've had one of the worst customer service experiences of my whole bloody life today and you're getting named and shamed. You give me poor service, I will name and I will shame you. I was on the bus today, the Arriva buses, right? Had my nephew, Eddie, for the day today and I thought, you know what, I'm going to take him out for the day, give him a nice day. Uh, I decided to go over to Buckle Church area, there's some steam trains there and I thought, it's getting a bit older now, he's nine months old, it's time for him to, you know, experience the magnificence of a steam train in motion. So, got the bus over there. I had to change halfway through. Uh, first bus was fine. Second bus was late. Absolutely peeing down on me and Eddie. Neither of us were happy. Anyway, bus finally arrived. Woman got on in front of me. Um, she ordered a bloody ticket and stuff and she said, I'm sorry, I've only got a £20 note. Uh, this bus driver's face was a sight to behold. It was a mixture of like bewilderment and rage, all cursing through it. Honestly, you would have thought that she'd pulled down her trousers and kind of sharted in his face or something. She's just giving you the bloody legal tender, mate. Get over it. Anyway, he's spluttering and humming and hiring about it all the time. Me and Eddie are outside and we're not getting any drier, put it that way. So I'm pretty annoyed by the time I get on the bus. Get Start getting the buggy up there, get it on there. And he goes, no. Nope. Sorry, you cannot bring the buggy on here. I already have one buggy. That is the legal limit. Oh, Jesus, honestly. So I'll, I'll put, I'll, I'm not getting off at this point, you know, it's peeing down out there. So I'll push the buggy further on, look around there. I said, you've already got one buggy there, mate. There's plenty of room on there. He said, no, I'm only licensed to carry one, one wheeled vehicle upon this vehicle. Jesus Christ, honestly, I've just been on the bus and there were two buggies on there, exactly the same bus company. I've been on buses for years, unfortunately, and there are always at least two buggies on every buddy bus, normally with the kids screaming, this is a well-behaved child, you know, it's going to be fine. And he said, no, that's not my problem. My, my license allows me to carry one buggy. And then, right, at this point, the woman who's already sitting there, she gets up sitting there with her buggy gets up and comes over to me says oh there's loads of room there really nice there's loads of room there you know um, i won't even have to move my buggy there's plenty of room for him to come alongside me there he said no that is not the point it is not about room it is about the legal licensed amount of buggies that i am allowed to carry oh for christ's sake this is the last thing i need to deal with dripping wet you know what i mean out in the middle of the bloody nowhere I, I, I'm arguing with him. I'm not having it. I'm saying, look, mate, I, this is ridiculous. I've never heard that rule. Where does it say that on the bus here? And he says, it's not my problem. He keeps going aggressively now. It's not my problem. I said, well, it is your bloody problem because I'm standing here and I'm not going anywhere. So it is your bloody problem because I'm a customer here trying to give you money to get on your bloody bus. Well, I wasn't giving him money. I already had a ticket, a day rider. But that's not the point. Anyway, so, and he's just not backing down on it. He says, no, I can only carry on. So what about if I bring the buggy on his carry-on? Do you know what I mean? Like, take, bloody collapse it and stuff, and I'll take the baby out of it. And that, apparently, he'll allow. He'll allow. But absolutely, it's ridiculous. His face was irritating me the whole time through. He's a fat, tubby little job's worth. His face looked like a Mr. Potato Head that had the features stuck on where someone wasn't paying attention. Do you know what I mean? Just cursory glance at what they're picking out. Nothing's really matching. All a bit disquieting. Disgusting. So that's what I had to do. I had to take the baby out, little Eddie, holding him, trying to collapse the buggy. It took the bloody ages. And he's complaining about it the whole time. I've really got to be going now. I said, look, you're going to wait, aren't you? This is on you, this is. I could just push this buggy on. He's humming and whoring about it. I said, it's going to take as long as it takes, mate. So who won at the end of the day? I won because I got on the bus. You lost because you made yourself late. And I won because I went to see magnificent steam trains. But you, Steve, you fat, tubby little jobs worth should be sacked because you're a pathetic little idiot. Hey, right, that's at my system now. I've got it done. Um, I just hate people like that. Really make me angry. Uh, but... I don't want to just be raging on my videos. I haven't made very many videos at all in the last couple of weeks. I've been so busy. There's been lots going on. Um, I need to make a very honest video as well and let you know some stuff that's been going on. But I will get on to that this week. The uploads will be returning. Um, hopefully you guys are still awesome and you are still in my corner. Beard. Look at the beard. Bloody love this beard. It is the best thing in my life at the moment. Alpha male beard. Fluffy. Fluffy, yet yeah, rough. Rugged, yeah, alpha.